we've just come back from uh, a lock in the Cairngorms, doing some photos of the Femron, and this is Priscilla. Got a nice little breakfast bar, kitchen area. So under here, all locked in very safely, is the fridge, and everything bolts in, which is great. So you'd have to worry about it all falling out all over the place. The fridge pulls out pretty deep. We've got all the food we need for dinners. We've got breakfast, sausage and bacon, all the milk we need. That slides back in. Bolt down there. And it runs off a cigarette lighter port down here. Big thing as well, heating and food. That's all powered by gas, which is down here. You can see there. It's really simple, just kind of universal cap, just plug it on top. And then flip the little black switch up, turns the gas on. And that powers the heating, which is run by these ports down here. So you can turn these on to the lighter, the, the flame uh, thing. You can probably hear it turning on now. And you twist that knob all the way up to full because it's freezing and that'll be um, the heating which comes out of a port down here which is blowing out hot air which we've been using to dry our boots overnight and also like I said heat under the bed I'll turn that off for now so we save our gas there is also two USB ports down here you see that little blue light so charging up phones, cameras, that sort of thing. There's no um, British wall socket, so three prong wall socket, but there is two USB points. Cool, nice and simple. Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, M1. Right, oven's really decent. You light the oven with a match right at the very back. And there's also a grill up here, uh, area up here, which again, you just, like with a match, turning on the gas here. We decided to put food down in this section, which is, again, tons of space, tons of covers everywhere. I mean, I'm a big fan of blueberry muffins. Uh, got all of our drink, all of our water. Uh, under the bed is more space that you can access from the back of the van, which I'll show in a second. But there's also this area here, which is where I put my luggage. Before we get to the front, let's go look at the back. <laughs> We've got the um, bike rack, which you need to watch your head on because this may fall on you when you're swinging this door open. Um, so, hold it. So now you can see is the back, is the bed. Probably best to look at how big the whole thing is. Oh, let's move our pillows out of the way. So, there's awning that we haven't used because, again, we're not going to put any pegs into the frozen floor. Get some lights in. This little hole here, which we're placing in. It's pretty decent. Like, we've had dinner on here a couple of times, it's really good. Yeah, really, really kind of asked for a better van, to be honest. If you want reliability, go, definitely go for Priscilla, and especially if you want space as well, and a comfortable night's sleep. All that trunks are great. Um, in terms of petrol, it's pretty good, or well, diesel, it's pretty good for um, like miles per gallon. Right, so, kettle has finished boiling, uh, and we've still got a lot of walking to do. So, um, yeah, I think it ended up there. Priscilla is awesome, I really recommend hiring you. And um, I mean, it's, it's doing us from freezing cold weather, so summertime, this would be just perfect. Um, yeah, thanks, Quirky Campers. Um, and that's Priscilla.